Are you still with the agency? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, oh, I've uh, retired. Well, I'm a, I'm a consultant. Sort of. <laughs> a consultant. But I think that you're still carrying a gun, Michael. You know, this is really is incredible. What? Well, I, mean, I, I got you out of Cuba. And is, is this what you defected for? Hmm? Come here to uh, sell birdseed dog food. You, the former head of a Cuban secret police. Sorry. No, 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 that's all right. That's all right. I just... You just bring me back to many memories, my call. I mean, I... You know that really nobody knows why I defected Cuba. I mean, the real reason why I defected Cuba. Not important, is it? It is important. Because I'm not growing any younger, you know. See? That man is the reason I'm here today. Who is it? Emilio Gutierrez is his name. Nobody knows him. He's there, poor man. And I give him a call. It was uh, during one of those uh, frequent moments of paranoia. There were hundreds of people gathered to be interrogated. And Gutierrez was among them. He, uh, he was a simple man. He was a farmer. Uh, but little by little, he started becoming a little bit dangerous. So my men took hold of him, trained interrogators, so they couldn't get a word out of him. So I took the case myself. And, uh, I mean, it had been one of the most terrifying experiences of my life. Why? This man forgave me. Day after day after day, no matter what I say, what I did to him, this man forgave me. And you don't know what it means, I mean, to look and face the eyes of a man that you are torturing and is forgiving you. So you killed him? It was an accident, but this man had destroyed me. And destroyed me, I had to defect, because the worst thing in the world happened to a good Marxist revolutionary like me. What was it that happened to you? <laughs> Ah, uh, you may think I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. Because of Emilio Gutierrez. <laughs> I'm sorry, my copa. I began to believe in, in the love of God. <laughs> Laugh at me if you want. I don't give a damn. 